What's up, my beautiful little biscuits, and welcome to uh, my first going rogue in a long time. Uh, this is Dragon Fin Soup, an action uh, strategy, uh, turn-based action RPG, uh, and roguelike. Uh, that I was actually pretty surprised to see uh, sitting in my email. I remember seeing this when it was but a wee uh, Kickstarter campaign, which was actually quite some time ago, and I was pretty excited about it. But much like everything I try to keep track of, I lost track of it up until I saw it in my uh, inbox today. So I was I was pretty surprised to see it there, and I, and I was excited to give this a try. I've only played about a half an hour of this to give it a go. Uh, this is this is a pretty uh, hardcore game. If you like games like Dungeons of Dreadmore, you're probably gonna love this game. But it's not gonna hold your hand. There's no tutorial for it, which I I kind of learned the hard way. If you do want to know how to play the game down here in the read or die section it will give you everything you need to know uh, to start the game uh, which is basically the controls and, and tactics and stuff like that I'm not gonna go through it I've already looked through it if you're new to uh, roguelikes and turn-based RPGs such as this and Dungeons of Dreadmore you may want to read that uh, you probably want to read it anyways regardless, but if you have been playing these types of games for a while, there's a good chance you're going to pick up on it. Uh, now, you can play this, so if you die, it, you'll go back to your last save, but if you want to stay true to the roguelike uh, bloodline, you can uh, make it so there is permanent death. And I'll show you that here when we go in. We'll go to new game. I did start a game, but I died. We'll start new. So classic is if you die, you will go back to your last slate. save. Hardcore, when you're dead, you're dead. That's the end of the game. So we're going to go check this out, and there's going to be a little story here. You can unlock other characters to play. Uh, I haven't yet, obviously. So we're going to be playing as Robin, or Red Robin, uh, who is essentially Little Red Riding Hood all grown up. And now this game has a lot of dark humor to it, and there's stories to it, and, and quests and such, and, and it's a pretty fun game, all in all. In all. Uh, name the universe in which your adventure takes place. The name of the universe will become the seed for the procedural generation. Now you can type in whatever you'd like here, or you can just hit random. I just uh, I just went over to shit happens. Did I just did I just pass over that? I should have. I wish I'd gone with that one. Uh, Whoop bra, Papa Mama. Let's see, Bang a lot. Let's go. Let's go to the world, the universe of Bang a lot. I like that one. Now there's a nice little story that's going to come up here, and this is a very beautiful game. I should add, but we're going to watch this. Was a great dragon turtle god Ashura swimming the vast cosmos of the multiverse. Upon its back was born a world of magic and wonderment. Oh, I skipped it. I accidentally skipped it. Well, there's a lot to it. You you can watch it yourself if you'd like to. I'm not going to. This is pretty loud. Let me see if I can turn this down real quick. Uh, where is the options? It's in here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, really. I guess I can just... I'll turn the music down in, in pre-production. Anyway, so this is the uh, beginning of the game. It just really throws you into it. We should rest. I cannot see a thing. He is close. I can feel it. We must not stop now. You can stay behind if you are scared. I have no fear, my lady. I shall give my life for you. Alright, so... Oh, we're immediately going into action here. Now, you can click... Uh, when you're in melee range, click to uh, attack, or you can use F, which will bring up your shotgun for range attack, but you do have ammo, so you should be careful with that. There's also bombs you can lay down, which will uh, take three turns to explode, and I think you can also set them off with, uh, with your gun, with ammunition, and I think you can kick them too, if, if that's... If that's something I remember right. Now, you regenerate health over time, so if you're low on health and you don't have healing stuff, you can kind of walk about and slowly regain. I think it's one one point every few steps, looks like. Now, I'm fairly certain that this is uh, randomly generated or procedurally generated, as it were, uh, because this is a different setup than the first time I played. And there was a chest and stuff around here. The map... Uh, can be a little confusing when you first start a little disorienting actually uh, But you'll you'll slowly get the hang of it. Well, let's kill this guy with my shotgun so you can see that pushing F and then pushing F again will fire 
another enemy kind of popped up and then you'll collect experience as you go we can open this grab some money or 10 coins now a fun little aspect of this game is uh I'll, I'll actually i'll wait and talk about that part forget forget what i said that there i'll talk about it later when it's actually becomes uh an issue right now it's kind of a non-issue all right, let's so we leveled up, got projectile attack plus one, and defense plus one. All right. Kill this guy real quick. There we go. My health is doing all right. He, I think those guys are buffing themselves. I don't really know. I don't know all the ins and outs of this game yet. Obviously, this game just came out today, uh, November 3rd, and it's... Either ten or fifteen dollars on Steam. I can't remember which. I want to say fifteen dollars, but I'm not entirely sure. And there are other game modes in this game uh, that you can do. I didn't talk about, and I should have talked about while I was in the menu screen. But they have a, a lot of like endless, like the endless labyrinth. Oh, here's the hooded man. Oh no, Sir Leaf. Sir Leaf has died right over there. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but yeah, he died really quickly. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the end endless labyrinth mode where you will just continuously go through the labyrinth until you die, I believe. I haven't played it yet. And there's another mode that I can't remember what it was. I'd have to look on the main menu to see. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that this beginning part, because you're going to see it anyways, and I didn't know it at first. Like, I tried really hard to kill this guy who I can't even see his level. So that one should tell you one thing, that it's not a good thing. But you, you can't win this, I don't believe. I think you have to. You have to die here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll fight him. I think this is magic that you can use. And uh, click it again. Yeah. So, and I'll, I'll lay down a bomb so you see how that works. So laying down a bomb, and after three steps, it will explode. So I'm going to go ahead and just try and attack this guy, but I keep walking. I can't actually do damage to him, it seems like. I mean, I'm doing sort of damage. And he keeps teleporting around. It is really loud. Alright, so my other guy just died. Oh no, Boren. You think you are highborn, but in truth your lineage is nothing but common filth. The world is filled with the likes of you, poisoning and suffocating our kingdom with their pathetic ideals. We shall gut them all and fill the streets with their blood until the drains spill over and the vermin drown in their own filth and gore. That is pretty fucking dark. Okay. Your vile breath carries nothing but lies. I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. So we're gonna go ahead, he's gonna spawn enemies, so I'm just gonna keep doing this until I die in there. There I died, so. This is just a dream, right? No one would hope so. Because when I did when that happened to me, I was like, oh please tell me that that was supposed to happen. Don't tell me that the game is this hard and I just died like three minutes into it. But no. That's supposed to happen. Now give me a break, alright? I'm getting up already. So now we're starting the actual part of the game. Ow! I keep having this nightmare over and over. Always the same dream, and it feels so real. Woof woof, says Big Bad. Obviously the Big Bad Wolf. Yeah, I hear ya. Woof woof. I need a drink, and it looks like we ran out of dog food again. Come on, let's go to the tavern and see if Jin has any work for us. Woof woof. Alright, so the first quest is to visit the tavern. And, uh... I think that that's just a storage chest. There's nothing in it for right now. Um, I don't know if I can do it here, but oh no, I can freely break stuff here. And I don't, not that it helps, but there are stuff in them, in in things that you break around. But here here is what I was talking about that I was gonna save for later. You can actually destroy things. Oh yeah, even the town is uh, kind of procedurally generated. So if we break this rock. We just lost four coins in property damage. So, breaking shit like around town, there will be pots that'll have stuff in them, but you will get taxed uh, for property damages. Here's the doctor. I believe uh, you can come here to heal your uh, uh, people and yourself, I'm pretty sure. I haven't had to use it yet, obviously. I went on my first quest, got almost done with it, and died because I wasn't paying attention to my health. Now let's find where, and since it is uh, procedurally generated, I have no freaking clue where the tavern's gonna be. You can check up here for your mini-map, will show where the people are, and actually if you hold this down, it will show where everything is that you've already uncovered, so. 
I don't know if there's a way to permanently put that up on the overlay. Here it is, the Cock and Bull Tavern. So this is going to trigger uh, a new quest. And click on him. Hey, you lazy girl, haven't seen you around for a while. Great to see you sober for once. Look who's talking, you bastard. Pour me a shot. Sounds like me. Jesus. This isn't a charity. You still have an unpaid tab. Pay up or get out of here. Talk to me if you want a job. Talk to Jin. Mission completed. No, shit's about to go down here. I think I need to talk to him. Here we go. They're here to kill us! They're everywhere! We must run! That guy is attractive. This is a beautiful game, by the way. I know I said that before, but I really should stress that it is. Slow down, Bill. Take a deep breath and tell us what happened. The undead are here. They came from the old cemetery and are attacking everyone. In broad daylight? This is very unusual. And what bad timing, too, with the Academy of Arms being on a field trip. Them motherfuckers. Oh, look at the cat over here sleeping. Didn't notice that before. We have to act quickly. Let's go out there and kill them all before anyone gets hurt. There is no way I'm going out there again. I will help you. You can count on me. Where is that guy at that's talking? Let's go. Kill the undead. Is he already by the door or what? Oh, there he is, right up there. Yes, let's proceed. All right, so we're gonna get into our first real combat that is like, we're supposed to actually survive through. And this is our little introduction into uh, how the game is actually gonna play. Now you see over here are the red squares are the enemies and they're going to move around as we move around. Every time we take a turn, they'll take a turn. So you wanna plan those out and you never want an enemy to get behind you. And if you hit an enemy from behind, they will take extra damage. So, let's do that there. There we go. Alright, we've leveled up. We obviously, we keep our level from the little, uh, introduction part where we were forced to die. Alright, there's nothing up here. I don't know why I'm going up here. Let's look at the red dots. If they see you, if they're pointed at you, uh, when they take their turn, they'll have that little Metal Gear Solid exclamation, Hey, I see you, Park. And they'll actively come after you. So sometimes it's nice to try and get the sneak on enemies. All right, where is that asshole at? He's right over this way. I can't, you can chop down, like you, if things get in your way, you can get, oh shit, I didn't mean to go under him. You can like cut down the trees with your sword and, and shit like that. Where is the other one at? And there's gotta be more around here somewhere. Uh, the event will automatically finish once you've killed everything. Let's go up this way. Oh, I see him now. Come on. So yeah, this the, the map can be a little confusing, the, the way the um, line of sight works. Uh, and I suppose I would say the fog of war. But you, you get used to it after a while. Where is this asshole at? Oh, he's way down here. So let's get close enough to him that I can use... Ah, oh, never mind. I'll just use my shotgun on him real quick. So we'll click that. There we go. I think that should be all of them, right? No, nope, there's one more somewhere. Oh, he's up here. Oh, he saw me. All right, we'll just melee hit this guy to death. He's not doing that much damage to me anyways. Now, your wolf will be your permanent partner. Oh, there's another one up here. Jesus. There's a lot that I've been missing. Uh, your wolf is your permanent partner from the get-go. That guy won't stick around, though. So can I go this way? Can I hit him from here? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, he's too close. Uh, you can hit escape to get out of your firing. I don't know if there's another button for that, but... I <laughs> I blew up a thing and now I'm in debt a lot. Looks like we've got them all, but what a mess. See round, Robin. Yep, yep. Okay, let's pick up those shotgun shells at least. Wait, there's more red things, but I think they're like flies and shit, so... We don't have to deal with them at all. I mean, you, you can kill them and get some experience. And your dog pretty much takes care of them immediately. There's a weapon shop. Where the hell was the, uh, was it down here? I can't remember where it was at now. Those green things are portals for out of town when you get around to it. Uh, it was this way, right? It's this way and up. That's the thingy. I can't remember where it was at. Oh, it's a... It's this one over here, isn't it? The other big building. 
Do, 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 do. Nope, that's just a house. Up here. There you are. Cock and bull. Yeah, I'm not worried about the fly. All right, so we'll come back here, finish this quest, and then we'll get uh, another quest that I, I will briefly do uh, just to show you the uh, outside world. Thanks for your help, Robin. Things might have gotten real bad if you were not around. Don't mention it. This is my home, too. The town guards seem to be back now, too. They will clean up the place, and things will get back to normal in no time. Having the undead attack at broad daylight is very unusual. Has it ever happened before? Now that you mention it, one and a half years ago, on a very stormy night, the undead attacked the village. No one got hurt. The guards fought them off. At the break of dawn, Gidrim found you half dead out there in the woods with your head banged up pretty good. I cannot remember any of it, but the nightmares are back. I had a bad feeling this morning. Maybe your memories will start coming back someday. Anyway, you take it easy, Robin. Talk to me anytime if you need work, so immediately we're just going to go ahead and talk to him. There you are. I have some work for you. Of course you do. Hi, Jen. What's up? A young girl called last night, all excited, mumbling something about monsters and horrors. It could be drunk talk, but the be but we best not take any chances. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? <laughs> well, us, of course. Yeah, don't give me that grin. I'm not making these jobs up. We can take what we can get. We take what we can get. Identify the issue and get rid of all the creatures. I'm counting on you. I see. Okay, see you in a bit. This shouldn't take too long. And that seems to be random as well because that wasn't the the quest dialogue that I got the last time I played. So, and that that whole Ghostbusters joke. So, that is random as well. It seems. Oh, the fly fucked off real quick. So now we can go find one of our little portals, and we can see one up. Oh, right there actually, and uh, go straight into there. And wish to proceed. Yes, you can do some preparations before you go and do this if you want. That's probably a good idea. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to jump into this. If I die, I die. I'm just going to show you guys what's up. So, immediately... Uh, yep, this is completely different from last time, too. Now, I don't know what a lot of these things are, like these uh, rune things. Sometimes when I step on them, things pop up. That looks like a landmine over there that I'm not going to fuck with. Some money over here. We'll take that. Now here we can just freely break shit and get stuff like our shotgun shells, which we're going to want plenty of. Ooh, and these enemies are all different. What the fuck? Is that... Is that Link? Oh, I stepped in poison shit. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and just shoot this. I can't. I can't because she's over a wall now. Oh, she's flying through stuff. Is it because she can fly? She's running away from me. I don't know. Oh, no! What have I done? I leveled up. Wolfie must have killed stuff for me. I can't. Can I? I can't break these. So, um, the trees I can get rid of. Here we go. Whoop! Come on. There we go. She's above me, and that's hard to. Sometimes a little hard to discern in this game. What are you? You I can kill, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Whoo! This guy is taking a lot of damage. I can't walk, uh, so I have to shoot. Or at least until it gets to me. Because uh, some enemies seem to stop your movement. There we go. So, and it seems to be these guys that are doing it. So I'm going to have to shoot him until he gets to me. Wolf, man. Wolf, man. What are you doing, big bad? Alright, now I'm going to stop wasting ammo. And... There we go. Oh, did she? Did you kill her or did she just disappear? Huh. Uh, runes, I don't know what those are yet. I've seen them a couple times before. Oh, I stepped on a teleportation portal. I think this gives me a buff when I activate it. For 25 turns. Oh, God. It's Ash's evil fucking hand. Okay. I need a backup. Oh, okay. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm already almost dead. I don't have anything to heal. Oh, I knocked it away. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to come down here and just kind of walk around a bit and see if I can't regain some health. There are items you can use to gain health. I don't have any of those items. Rim Slade... Rim Slade Eager Daria. Whoever Eager Daria is. Alright, that thumping is going to get real annoying if I don't get rid of it. Patrick! Patrick Baldwin! That's almost me! I'm not a Baldwin. Alright, there's... I... The last place I went to, uh, the first time I played, didn't have other NPCs, like, killing monsters. 
But there was like a traveling shopkeeper. You learned a new recipe for maple grip. All right. Oh. All right. Uh, yep, he made it so I can't move. So I gotta, I keep trying to click him. I gotta shoot him till he gets close enough to me. Come on, baby. I'm down to two. Okay. You can also push this to skip a turn uh, if you don't want to move. Uh, hopefully this has some ammo in it. it. Doesn't money. Can I break these? Yeah. That doesn't seem to have anything in them. Ooh, a chest. Oh god. Oh no, it's a mimic. Oh, of course it's a mimic. Oh no. There we go. Oh, leveled up. I think that gives me a little bit of health. So our attack, slashing damage. Piercing defense and a bunch of other stuff that I didn't get to. Oh shit, there are two enemies over here. Oh, what the fuck was that? Okay. I keep getting moved around a bit, but... Shit. You know what? Um, now, uh, if we push up on the arrow keys, you can move up or you can left click and hold your character and kind of change them in directions to face different enemies. Oh, that's it for that. All right, let's kill this guy then first, since he seems to be more of an issue at the moment. The other guys just kind of want to, oh no. Recipe for Pearl, okay. So I'm gonna have to keep skipping my turn until he's closer to me. There we go. Or until my debuff wears off anyways. Okay, I'm almost dead already. Oop, here we go. Here comes the death. Alright, I okay, I'm getting some health back now. I should, what I should do is save it. So we'll save it here. Save and continue. Save complete. Oh, I like that sound. <laughs> yeah. There's a fly over there too. There's another fucking ghost. Right down there. Let's go this way. Let's see if there's something I can't. Ooh, uh oh. Well, I guess this is a thing. I can't... Oh, no, he can't move. No, not my dog. I think he slowed me down. I'm almost dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, there's another one. Come on, doggy, you can do it. All right, I got a weapon. I'm going to kind of move away from him until I get some health back. Don't walk on the spike trap. Ah, sh oh, no, I died. It hit me, and I died. So yeah, it's, oh, Kempo Baldwin. They like have their own names. So that's how easy it is to die in this game. Uh, nor, and actually you'd probably want to uh, try and uh, kind of arm yourself up before you go out doing stuff. And I don't know if you have to complete a level before going back to town, but you might be able to just go back and heal up and stuff and go back. I'm not sure on that part yet. But yeah, there's the survival mode, the endless labyrinth mode. Uh, if you want to look to see what those are, you can come in here and click next. This tells you story mode, what the story mode is do for the storytelling, character progression, ex exploration. Survival mode is designed for thrill seekers. You must overcome the terror that comes with exploring the dangerous walls of Shura by fighting challenging monsters and surviving deadly encounters. So that'll do that for you. If you like roguelikes, this mode is for you. So there you go. And the Endless Labyrinth is designed for the fierce competition of intense high score runs. There are a variety of characters available, each with their own unique abilities. So there's another thing that you need to keep in mind uh, for those different things there. Anyways, this has been uh, Dragonfin Soup. This is a fun game. I enjoy playing it. I die a lot playing it, but, you know... That's what it is. Uh, and incidentally, I, I should mention that I do like playing this game. So if you want to see more of it, I will play some more of this game and, and make a little less play of it if you want. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. And uh, I'll give it some consideration. Otherwise, that's all there is to this. If you like the video, let me know by liking the video and leave a comment. Because I always enjoy reading them. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Peace.